Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I was a part of Nikon's latest campaign for their newest mirrorless camera, the ZF. So today I really want to just like sit down and talk about kind of how that came to be, the preparation for it, the behind the scenes, and all of the photos that I shot. Because I know that when I started out in photography, I truly never thought that I would be able to kind of be a part of these big campaigns with these companies that I'm a fan of myself and actually use and love so i wanted to give a breakdown of kind of how one of these campaigns goes down and like what's involved so like i said the nikon zf is their latest mirrorless camera and it is a retro style camera so it looks almost exactly like a film camera and it is a major step up from the ZFC. The look of it is inspired by their old camera, the Nikon FM2. It has a full frame sensor with 25 megapixels and it has up to 125 minutes of recording time. And like Nikon's other mirrorless cameras, it has the same sort of picture control so you can really be in full control of the scene you're shooting and really change up the look and feel to the entire picture while in real time. One of my favorite features definitely has to be the dedicated black and white button. So with literally one flip of a switch, you're shooting in black and white and you can see it, you know, on your camera itself. I'm not even someone who tends to shoot black and white. I love shooting in color, but this is just so cool and I feel like it'll probably get me to start shooting more black and white just because of how easy the switch is. And the cool thing about that too is of course, if you're shooting in raw, the photo you're shooting is not permanently in black and white. You can go back in later within whatever program you use. For me, I use Adobe Camera Raw and I can just go in there and flip it back to color if I want. But now let's get into kind of my shoot for the ZF. So it started out with an email from the Nikon team that was titled highly confidential and those are always my favorite emails because I'm just so curious as to what is about to go down. If you saw back in the summer, I think it was like June or July, I uploaded a video actually here to YouTube about a trip that I went on with Nikon and that was for their Z8, but I got to meet a lot of the Nikon team. Yeah, it was cool to just go on a trip with them and then also work with them just a few weeks later. Also, they literally didn't tell me to make this video. I'm making this because I want to, but yeah, so got the email. So from there, I jumped on a call with them. They got to show me the camera, which was super exciting. I couldn't say a word though, and I didn't. And then we got to discussing what they kind of need from me. So this time around, it was a bunch of different video assets. It was a bunch of different end result photos, some shot with the camera, some with the camera in frame, some photos of myself, and then some with models. So it was just a bunch of different variety because I feel like that's when after the shoot, you can kind of go in and really pick and choose what you want. So at that point, I kind of started my normal photo shoot prep. So that includes kind of locking down dates, locking down different models, searching for spaces to shoot in, and ordering any different materials and props I was gonna use. The cool thing about this shoot was that it was with Nikon, so they allowed me to rent any different cameras or lenses that I wanted to use, and so of course I took advantage of that. And for me, I went with the Nikon Z8, the 35 millimeter f 1.8 lens, the 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens, the 14 to 24 2.8 lens, and then the 85 millimeter f 1.2 lens some of these lenses i just really wanted to try out and experiment with others i already have but wanted additional ones for whoever was recording behind the scenes for me so i just tried to factor all of those things into what was about to go down i feel like for me i definitely want to be over prepared than not so just making sure i covered all my bases for what different focal lengths i wanted to use with just the amount of different deliverables that they wanted and I wanted to deliver as well. Um, I just felt like it would be best to spread this shoot over the course of two different days because this time around they wanted a bunch of different people within the photos. I started just reaching out to people and models that I love to shoot and work with. Anytime I'm working on something that is a little bit of a larger project, I always just want to shoot with people that I already know and love to work with because I just can trust them and I know that they're going to show up and I just feel like the last thing I need on a big shoot like this is just a model like flaking or not showing and so I reached out to like my favorite people and got them locked in. It sounds super easy but it takes a lot of coordinating and figuring out what times people are free and if they can you know get to the location on time and so as I'm locking in models I'm also starting to create a mood board for the shoots because not only does that help on my end but also helps my client in this case Nikon know what I'm shooting that day and just gives more clarity to everyone involved just so they know and are aligned with 
what I'm gonna be doing that day because I just feel like keeping everyone in the know when you're working with a team is definitely super important. But at the same time, I'm not completely copying everything that is on the mood board. I'm just using it as a reference for maybe the colors that I'm using, the props, just the look and feel to everything. So this was the board for the first day. So I have Evan here who's modeling, the location, and the time that I rented the space until. So this concept in particular involved shooting in low light because I really wanted to highlight how far you can push the ZF and its ISO. It can go up to 64,000 ISO. So I was like, I need to highlight this somehow. And this was definitely the day to do it. So I brought along a projector. I brought along a fog machine and also just a bunch of images to project. But I knew that I didn't want to project the images directly onto Evan here. I wanted to more so use the projector and those images as a backlight. And when you start to involve all these things like low light, fog, and a projector, it sort of just creates this like really magical feeling. As I'm, you know, deciding and picking out these different images, it's also completely changing the look and the colors of what I was doing because of what those images involve. So some of them were super colorful and like had swirly patterns. Some of them were darker and more toned down. So I just really played around and made use of the space and all of these different props. The space also offered a fan, which came in handy because I didn't want the fog to start interfering with the sharpness of the images. At the end of the day, I was really shooting for the camera and to show off what the camera can do. Moving on to the second concept of the day, I prepared this mood board with Kaylee and this involved shooting with lasers. And I recently got this laser cube from Wicked Lasers, which is so insane and cool. And I was just looking for a reason to sort of implement this into a shoot. And I thought this was the perfect day to do that. So it's connected to an app and on that app, you can project different things like shapes, moving patterns. You can even play like games on it somehow. I, it's crazy, but I sort of used the same sort of low light look and feel to the previous setup, but just replaced the projector for the laser cube here. I had the laser cube on a really high tripod, so it was projecting downwards. I kind of tested this out previously and had the laser cube like at the same level as a model, sort of projecting towards them just at you know their eye level and it didn't look as good. So I was really excited to have this be at a higher height and point down at them like I did here. So the rest of the day, we cleared out the smoke and shot some product photos of the camera in use, some with the models holding it, some me shooting with it. And then also set the kind of colorama situation that this space offered into this sort of pink hue setup and had Kaylee just pose with this really cool dress just for some safety. I feel like I had some extra time and wanted to change up the whole setup and just get some more variety from this day. After that, I got home. I made sure to back up all my memory cards just to make sure that all of the photos and the videos we took are secured. Charged up my batteries and then got ready to do everything all over again for the next day of shooting. For day two, I had Evan once again. I had Lindsay. I had my friend Charlotte and my friend Megan. I started out with Evan and Lindsay on the rooftop of the studio. The cool thing about this studio that I secured is that I think it was an extra fee, but it has a rooftop you can use. And I feel like that just offers a lot more variety than just kind of like a plain white backdrop. So I was ready to kind of have that add on into my package because I really wanted something else. Evan and Lindsay are both dancers. So I really wanted to take advantage of the beautiful movement that they can do and really do my best to capture that. So on the roof, I had myself at a really low angle and then shot them from them above me. And this was a lot of the different photos also that I had on the mood board. And because some of the deliverables called for models with the camera in hand, I decided to take this second while we were on the rooftop to shoot some of those photos. So I just had each of them, Evan and Lindsay, with the camera in hand, playing around with it. Here I was shooting with the blue and the green version. This camera comes in six different colorways and these two were my absolute favorite colors. So I was really excited to be able to capture these. After that, I headed downstairs and this was when my other model, Megan arrived and my friend Ali brought along this really awesome red dress. It had a ton of different movement to it and also this really cool texture and thought it'd be the perfect moment for 
this shoot. So I just had her pose and do a lot of different movement with the dress while I shot on continuous burst mode, just making sure I was able to capture it. And I ended up with this really cool photo of Megan that almost looks like she's just like this rose blossoming. Then I had Megan change into a look that was more casual. I didn't want to just have each model do one specific concept and look. Again, I wanted to get as much variety as I could out of just each person that was helping me out because you never know what the client is going to select and something that you might love, they might not. So I again, had her change into an outfit that fit more of like a lifestyle type of feel and had her kind of shoot and pose with the camera itself. Last model I had to help me out was my friend Charlotte and she was actually a big help on my previous campaign I did with Nikon which was for the Z6 and so it was really cool to kind of have her join along this time around as well. This was definitely a quicker one but I had kind of the whole set of the backdrop be the sort of nice pink purple hue and then within one of my lights I had an optical spot on which I just created a sliver of light with and then had Charlotte pose but after that went home sent over all of the photos for them to go through made my own selects and then we agreed upon a set amount of photos that I had to go through and edit I delivered those and then weeks and months later that's when it launched and I was able to see them on the website and all over social media, basically. They were on YouTube and Instagram and it was just really cool to be a part of something like this. And that was it. I was so happy with all the photos that I got and it's just an exciting moment and I was really honored to be a part of it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of how this shoot came to be. Yeah, super excited to make this and share it with you all and I'll see you soon.